you've done such a brilliant job, not just on uh, keeping us all uh, in time, but everything else. So maybe a round of applause to start. <laughs> I should say in my 30 or so years uh, working for record labels, I've been to a lot of music conferences. I'm pausing now for something to say you look far too young, but <laughs> I said that. <laughs> and genuinely, I've been really impressed by the level of understanding, engagement, and open discussions that we've seen here in the last couple of days. So thank you very much for inviting me to. Last night at dinner, someone mentioned to me that they thought I uh, was very grumpy when I did my presentation yesterday. I won't say who it was, but um, she might have been from Barbados. <laughs> but it did make me think that there's been a lot of presentations over the last couple of days where people are saying to those of you who are running MLCs, you know, you must follow these KPIs, you must follow these protocols, you must uh, uh, get this certification. And I'm sure there's an element of you thinks, look, I'm trying to raise some money, uh, trying to collect some money, don't drown me in rules and regulations. But please don't think of them that way. Uh, the KPIs and, and the like should be looked at as tools. Uh, um, even shortcuts or hacks to allow you to get as quickly as possible to set up an efficient MLC. I know they're not just made up by someone in an ivory tower. You know, as, as the Bible says, there's nothing new under the sun. And all the challenges the people building their MLCs are, are facing now, we've seen it around the world before in different places. Whether it's Stampro, which is more established in South Africa, or even yesterday we were discussing that it really wasn't that long ago where we had to build from absolutely scratch in the ex-Soviet countries, MLCs and collecting societies. And today, even in those small markets, where GDP is quite modest, you know, we collect several million dollars of income a, a year, you know, adding up to some hundred million dollars a year. So I'm sure it's only a matter of time before we can get there with Africa. I think the final thing I'd like to say on behalf of Sony Music is just to reiterate the optimism that we at Sony Music from the very, very top of our company have about the future of Africa as a center of music. Not just the global talent that we have seen already uh, conquering the world, but also its potential to be a music market in its own right. We believe that the world beating global growth we saw last year with your talent, with investment, with commitment can grow the same way year on year. So to end, if you'll forgive me for slightly misquoting uh, a Sony music artist, it's time for Africa. Thank you very much. <laughs>